Capricorn. Hey Capricorn, it's Ray. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with your May 2022 monthly predictions. I apologize for the delay, um, but the delay was significant. All right, let us pray. <laughs> the smoke alarm is agreeing. Um, I apologize about that ahead of time, but let us pray and let's get into it. Happy Jupiter Day, Grand Rising. Happy Cinco de Mayo. I'm recording this on 5-5-2022, so a portal is activated, but let us pray. God, source, angels, ancestors, guys, universe, thank you for guiding me and thank you for speaking through me as I deliver Capricorn's May 2022 predictions. God, please instill ambition within them, drive, balance, clarity, action, God bless each and every Capricorn that watches this video. Allow them to be guided. Allow them to have understanding. Allow them to, allow them to have clarity. Thank you for speaking through me. Gratitude, Ashe. Um, so you're the last sign that I'm doing. And it took me a couple of days <laughs> to get to your sign. And um, it was a lot going on. I was tired. I was drained. There were things that I needed to do a couple of weeks ago that I had to get caught up on. And I feel like that's significant to your energy uh, for the beginning of May or like uh, walking into May or since really since the ooh, throat chakras. There's something you need to get off your chest. But um, I feel like like I need to belch, but it's not coming out. Um you may have to be more proper in a certain setting, um, more proper than you're used to being. But <sighs> since the new moon lunar eclipse in Taurus on April 30th, up until now, 5-5 five, five, when I'm recording this, there's some, I hear you, there are some loose ends that you needed to tie up or you are in the process of tying up. Um, the title of your video is going to be, It's Time to Apply Pressure. Um, I was getting that energy for you. Also, the song um, Marvin's Room by Drake, you know, the original, um, I was about to say the original songwriter, but the original version of Marvin's Room is by Drake, but JoJo remixed it. And there's something specifically about JoJo's remix to Marvin's Room that pertains to you in your life. For some of you, it depends on which end you fall on, especially if you're a female. Um, when I was listening to it, I was really triggered by it. So you may be really triggered by something. I don't know. Um, but I did, like, I was get, picking up different energies for you, and I put them on my phone. So I'm just going to read them off. Okay, so in the month of May, if you feel your ears burning, that means people are talking about you, all right? Um the masculine energy of Capricorn is seems to be damaged, okay? And when I say damaged, like if you're Capricorn, you're the, your Earth energy, you're the goat. You're considered the goat of the zodiac. So when it comes to your earthly matters, when it comes to structure, stability, if you're not achieving something like in the time frame that you aim to achieve it, or if it's just not being achieved when you set your sights to achieve it, then your masculine energy becomes damaged. And it's like you've been trying to take a chill pill by tapping into your feminine energy. You've been trying to nurture yourself. You've been trying to comfort yourself. You've been trying to love yourself through the process. But if your masculine energy is imbalanced, which that is, you are the head. Okay, you're the head of the tables. You're the goat. So if the head is damaged because the head has to master the feminine and the masculine, if the head's masculine is imbalanced or damaged, then there's an imbalanced head at the top, okay? And, and if, if the top is imbalanced, that means everything that falls below is imbalanced as well. So your household could be imbalanced right now. Your relationship dynamics could be imbalanced right now. Your job dynamic could be imbalanced right now. Um, how quickly money is flowing in for you could be imbalanced right now like anything to do with earthly matters okay um 
<laughs> I okay I wrote dry needs moisture and then WD-40 okay so when something is when like when it comes to like furniture and doors like whenever there would be like a creak in a door um my dad would always um spray WD-40 to like loosen it up loosen it up Brrr, loosen it up okay so you need to loosen up regarding something you need to moisturize something something is really dry in your life that needs um to be made more wet is what i hear um yeah and it's 9 18 9 9 okay so i i wrote somebody is getting checked in disrespect so if someone comes to you in a disrespect form you're checking them immediately um, some of you could be nauseous, um, because you are malnourished and malnourished. Like if you're stressed, if you're, if you're, if you're the Capricorn that I'm speaking to and your masculine energy, what you set out to achieve is not being accomplished. If that is damaged of some sort, um, you could not be eating well. You could, you know, technically people say we're supposed to eat three times a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but technically we're supposed to eat six times a, six times a day and we're supposed to eat in small portions and we're not supposed to eat to get full. But some of you are like eating only once a day or going days without eating anything and just drinking water. Like that's not, your body isn't getting its proper nutrients, which is also affecting how you operate and move in life. So be, be conscious of that. And then there's something about Halloween. So I kept seeing this um, orange and black butterfly, okay? And orange or black those are usually halloween colors and then i was getting candy corn for you some of you may like candy corn like some of you may love it or some of you may hate it like it's either end of the spectrum there's no in between um but reflect back on halloween there's something that happened around halloween that is affecting you in the month of may okay but that's the energy i was getting for you over the last couple of days and this rising um let's get into it but there's something about today five five or whenever you see this something about may 5th that it's like you wake up on the right side of the bed but like today i feel so good i feel i feel the portal opening the energy is high it's the beginning of eclipse season i feel the change coming so when it comes to you applying pressure um when I asked Spirit, like um, when I was doing my shuffle mancy on my phone with my playlist, and I'm like, Spirit, what's what's Capricorn's, you know, May themes? The first song was If Pain Was a Person by Moneybag Yo. And that's about, you know, a bulk of the song is about a distrust and mistrust of loyalty, um, betrayal, and un, like wanting to get on the same page, not able to get on the same page, trying to reconcile but not knowing how to reconcile, okay? Um, you need to apply pressure, okay? With whatever it is that you desire that you are not applying pressure to, it's time to turn that shit up a notch, okay? In the month of May. And you need to, this is starting around May 5th, okay? Something is being activated today. Conversation is being had today. We are getting in the, the energy of Mercury retrograde. Yeah, when I said a conversation, I got a Facebook notification. So this could be on social media. It could be ignited on social media or it could be with somebody you met on social media. I don't know. But um, for some of you, a conversation is being initiated. Um, you're taking forth action towards something. But I want to see the um, new moon eclipse was an initiation and an activation. So I want to see what this initiated and activated for you and if you follow me on instagram i do i do do risings with the right monday through friday to get the daily energetic messages for the week and the weekend um but i did say since it took me so long to do your reading i was going to give you some tender and some extra tender loving care so yeah let's get into it capricorn Spirit, please guide me on the initiation and activation themes for Capricorn of the Taurus New Moon Solar Eclipse that we had on April 30th. What did it initiate, initiate for them? Um, there's something about solar energy, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. I see a strong solar flare, just like solar. I see the sun. I hear you're waiting on the sun. Ooh. 
And this card has come out for like three, your sign and like two other signs, but we have Holy Grail. So the Taurus New Moon Lunar Eclipse um, initiated and activated inner discovery. You're finding your sacredness and you are finding out that you are all that you seek, okay? Everything that you need is inside of you. You are divine. You are magical. You are a manifester. You are an abundance attractor. But I hear a lot of you have been abundance detractors. So, and this has to do with the damaged masculine energy. So if you're, like I said earlier with your money flow, if your money flow has been affected or if you're not being optimistic about abundance, um, shift that. I feel like your relationship with money is changing uh, throughout these next six months. You're going to realize you don't have to work so hard for your cup to overflow. You're going to learn how things start to come with you, come to you with ease, um, depending on your energetic vibration and how you treat others. I swear somebody else had these same cards. Hold on, let me shuffle. Um, any other themes for Taurus? Oh, so Taurus, you may want to watch the Taurus May 2022 reading. But um, Capricorn, their Taurus New Moon, Lunar Eclipse themes, their initiation and activations, anything else. I ooh, third eye activation, brow chakra, inner vision, inner vision, clear seeing. So can I just get one, please? One final. Hold on. Okay. So we have third eye activation, holy grail, and karmic board clearing. So the Taurus new moon, a solar eclipse, initiated energetic clearing. You are rewriting your story and starting to live in your truth, okay? And with this third eye activation and clear seeing, you're going to see what your truth is to be able to really expand and grow on that. And your truth is different. For some of you, your truth is... <laughs> It's simple. For some of you, your truth is you no longer want to deal with a certain partner. For some of you, your truth is you want to actually initiate a life with a certain partner. For some of you, it's not, you no longer want to do a certain career. For some of you, you know that you want to initiate a certain career and you're going towards it. But whatever has been blocking you with this karmic board clearing, um, that energy is being cleansed away. So you may feel like you're going through a lot of tower moments over these next six months. And that's because your story is being rewritten, all right? It's like a death and rebirth energy of Phoenix rising out of the ashes energy, transforming out of the dark night of the soul energy into the light self, the light being with this holy grail. So these next six months, I feel like it's going to be extremely intense, especially with the way like the, the first part of May has going. Um, and this is a five month and five is all about change. So you're going to have your high moments, um, over the next six months and you're going to have your low moments over the six months if you have scorpio in your chart expect massive change and massive transformation to happen around the 16th of may because that is the scorpio full moon lunar eclipse okay um your opposite is cancer you may want to watch the cancer um may 2022 i was about to say cancer april 2022 so yeah one of those or both of those if you choose to but you're starting to, with your third eye activation, like this is being able to see what's coming before it comes. You're, it's like spirit is giving you the vision of what your life looks like 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now. Spirit is giving you, you know, the vision of what you should be doing career-wise, 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 love-wise, who the relationships you should be entertaining, the relationship you should be dis disseminating releasing letting go like all of that is going to be revealed to you um and i hear i hear my cup runneth over surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever so as long as you you know remain entrusted and indebted to the divine indebted to god throughout this change and transformation your cup will run it over for for the rest of your days my stomach ground growled oh but that was like a i don't know it was like my sacral chakra was like yes baby all right now let's get into me let's see what your may theme is
Capricorn May 2022 themes. What are their themes this month? We're going to see what this portal is activating for you as well. The energy is very high and you're the only sign and the final sign. Right here, let me clear my throat. Um, girl, I cannot think of the name of this crystal. Okay, but this crystal... When it comes to black crystals, black crystals represent protection for me, okay? And if you wear a lot of black, be mindful of that. Um, before I transformed and went through my one of my awakenings, because we have a multitude of spiritual awakenings, but I used to wear black because I was just very unhappy, very sad, very down. I had a cloud in my mind consistently, right? But then when I started tapping into this work, I realized black is a form of protection. And there's, I'm, I, ooh, trigger warning, trigger warning. I see people going to a funeral in all black. And honestly, that bothers me, okay? Because people, like energy never dies. Like the soul never dies, okay? It is just reborn. Um, into this life or reborn into another realm like the only thing that dies is a physical body but energy is always there so that is you know people do celebrations of life transitions of life but they wear all black to represent mourning but if you're supposed to be celebrating life i think that you should wear all white okay for newness transition a new beginning white represents new beginnings uh freshness so there's a need like if you have a lot of black um you need to you need to go shopping and lighten up your your wardrobe okay or there's a need to um for crystals because now i'm looking at my black tourmaline like you really need to place um black crystals around your home like around your doors and corners um under your bed and under your pillow for some for some of you i'm getting like nightmare dream uh nightmares and i now i hear dreams and nightmares by meek mill so a lot of you are about to have a unexpected come up oh so we have tiara wax humor yeah you need to um i hear lil wayne hard body hard body but then i hear light body lighten up so you need to laugh a little like when you're when it comes to damage masculine energy we tend to go too hard um with, with things and we start to it's like something to prove now when it comes to something to prove we end up more so depleting our energy source because we're trying to prove something versus be like versus like fuck it it is what it is this too shall pass type of energy but spirit is saying like in the month of may as a theme for you you need to have more fun you need to lighten up you need to oh passion sees it so whatever brings you passion in life you need to connect with that in the month of may a lot of you are restricting yourself from passion because you feel like you can't you can't step up to the plate you can't provide in the way that you desire to provide but when it comes to real passion when it comes to real love when it comes to doing what you're doing what you desire going with the flow going after what your heart is calling out for and not using your mind to overthink that somebody had i think it was gemini that had um mind over i'm sorry heart over mind decisions you've been making a lot of mind over heart decisions and this has been uh, it's affecting your masculine energy honestly um because when you connect with what you love when you don't restrict yourself you thrive more but when you restrict yourself you tend to deplete yourself more. So it's time to, themes for me are, are reconnecting with passion. And as you reconnect with the passion in your life, um, I see the violet flame in this deck. But as you reconnect with the passion in life and you'll allow yourself to become lighter, to not worry, to not stress, to to pour back into that masculine energy that has been damaged and, and, and ignited and given ambition and, and affirm it and in a sense take pride in it and know that you know you can overcome any any obstacle then you will you'll be on top i hear beyonce love on top i mentioned pride and we have megan the stallion pride okay 
For some of you, your pride is damaging you. You have a little bit too much pride and you need to humble yourself. And then we have versatility at the bottom. Um, pride, passion, humor. Humor, passion, pride. Give me a second. There is a need for your confidence to be restored. There is a need. I mentioned sacral chakra like my stomach ground, but it felt like my, my sacral chakra was like a green. The sacral chakra is also associated with passion. Okay. And when it comes to, there's something about passion and pride here specifically. Like pride is blocking passion. And there's a need to stop taking things so seriously. I hear, even though her name is Tierra Whack with this humor, I hear a lot of you are acting whack as a bitch. Like, whack as fuck. And you need to get your shit together, look in the mirror, and say, today is the day that I'm going to get my shit together and tap into my passions and tap into me. And it's like, when you tap into you, you don't have to go the extra mile to show pride. You don't have to go the extra mile to show yourself to others. Like people will just start falling away. Naturally, people will start to detach naturally. Like you don't even have to put in the work because the energy speaks for itself. So if you are surrounded by a lot of chaos or if you are not able to come to conclusions or if you are not reaching certain pinnacles or certain goals, it's like what... What energy are you really giving off? Okay, because the outside is definitely not reflecting the inside. All right. May themes for Capricorn. Oh, we have memories of Atlantis. Spiritual uh, uh, spiritual acceleration, progress technology. Um, if you know how to access your birth chart, definitely see if you have um, Atlantis in your birth chart. I do. Okay. I am a child of Atlantis. Um, but with this spiritual uh, acceleration, progress technology, um, I feel like also the spiritual acceleration is associated with pride and self-discovery. And we had that with the um, the Holy Grail. I think I find inner self-discovery. Shit, let me see if I can find it. I hear Eve, who's that girl? Who's that girl? Na, 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 I cannot find the card. Yes, finding sacredness in a discovery. Okay, yes. Holy girl, thank you. And so um, with this spiritual acceleration and this pride, the more... And with this third eye activation, like your dreams are going to show you a lot. Your dreams are going to take you through past life experiences and your dreams are going to take you through future experiences. But you're going to have to be the one to use your intuition, your brow, your third eye, your um, inner source to figure out if it's the past or if it's the future. Because if you're not clear, it could be very, very confusing. Trust me, I know. But... With the month of May, um, you're definitely remembering who you are. You are becoming light, 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 <laughs> speech, baby. Um, you are becoming lighter, light like a feather. Okay, a lot of you may be finding white feathers specifically in the month of May to let you know a new beginning is coming. And it's time to, it's also a sign to move towards that passion. Like if you're looking for a sign, Feathers will be assigned white feathers, brown feathers. Um, yeah, especially with this horse, it being brown. I wasn't paying attention to that first. But the unk is here. Um, the unk is um, eternal life, I believe. Let me, let me check myself on the unk. Breath of life, okay? It symbolizes both mortal existence and the afterlife. Okay, so yeah, um, past life and future life. You're going to have to decipher which is which. Um, and it's Egyptian. 
If you are a seed of an ancient Egyptian god or goddess, when you're going to be able to tell, okay? And once you start to tap into that power, the passion and pride that's ignited in you naturally, like your light shines, like this humor is like you are completely unbothered. Nothing bothers you because you know your you know your source. You know where you come from. You know your inner source. So if you know your inner source and you know you thugged it out those lifetimes, then you're about to thug it out in this lifetime. Like, what you worried about, baby? Like, what are you worried about? Okay, it's time to stop restricting yourself. For a lot of you, that's that's why your your masculine energy is damaged. I don't know if I said this already, but it's because you're restricting yourself. Like. <sighs> stop that you restrict yourself you limit yourself some of you it's like you're i'm getting this energy of wanting you're wanting to do something a certain way like for some of you you it's like you're waiting on timing to achieve something and you're being blocked because spirit is like wow stop waiting who knows that you know, whatever you're waiting to do a year from now will actually still be available a year from now. Who, who's to say that you'll still be here to accomplish it? Like the time is now, okay? Act now. Take charge now. Take action now. Yeah, great lessons are being learned for you with the halls of learning right now. Let's get into your five weeks of... Actually, let's see what this portal activated for you. The 5-5 five, five portal. <clears throat> I hear humming. Um, a lot of you like hum, like you do ohms as a form of meditation to calm yourself and relax yourself. I see the head of Buddha with candles lit. It's like a whole seance. I love it. What I see, I love it. It's very peaceful. It's very serene. No lights are on. It's all dark. Oh, for some of you, you're doing this during a thunderstorm in the month of May. It's just beautiful, baby. That's baby making. Ha! For, shut up. Uh, let me mind my business. What did this 5-5 five, five portal activate for Capricorn spirit? Some of you need to get some, okay? You need to bust tonight. You need to have sex. <sighs> Healthy sex, okay? Don't be just busting temporary nuts, okay? Be fucking up your life. A temporary, temporary nut. Have your whole life fucked up, okay? Um, what does 5-5 five, five portal activate for Capricorn? Can I just get one card, please? decision making for a lot of you i hear for a lot let me stop because all races watch mine <laughs> five five believing you shall succeed and it's interesting this is the sixth card and we're in the sixth year okay gemini lovers some of you are very scared of uprooting right now and i get it it's retrograde some of you have other obligations that are preventing you from uprooting. I understand, but you're really making excuses for yourself, okay? Like, seriously, you're you're blocking your own damn blessings because you're trying to wait. Like, it's, it's, it's time to take the lead. It's time to take charge. It's time to get in your emperor energy, that masculine energy, and move forward with grace, okay? Move forward with confidence. Move forward with belief. So that you can actually blossom, okay? So this 5-5 five, five portal is like, it's like, it's balancing you out, baby, okay? It's balancing out your, the, the divine feminine and the divine masculine in you. It's, it's alchemizing as one with this six to believe and succeed. So that you can just get out of this funk and really, really reconnect. Like something, a fire needs to be ignited within you. And a fire is being ignited within you today. And 14, 1 plus 4 is 5. We have 4 and we have 6. And then this would be the 5. So once you take the lead, you create balance. And once you create balance, you're able to succeed at anything you set your sights to. And then you're really able to truly blossom. But you're searching for something. You're searching for an answer. And God is like, you, you, you are the answer. 
you are what you seek. We, we read that earlier, right? Um, I don't have a card on the table anymore, but you are what you seek. You are the answer. So the truth was within you. What are you so scared of? Why, why are you scared? Why do you feel like if you take a leap of faith, God is not going to provide, the divine is not going to come through? Why do you feel like, like <sighs> the world is waiting on you? Like time is going to wait on you. Like you can plan all that you want, baby, but we are in a Gemini year. It could go either way, okay? Nine times out of 10, the way that you want it to go, spirit has it set up the complete opposite way. So if you are not progressing, if things are stagnant, first of all, are you really committing to what you desire to commit to, okay? Are you being consistent? Are you putting in the effort? Are you saying you want something and then you go after that shit each and every day? Are you saying you want that and then you play with it two or three times a week? Like, baby, make a decision all right now once you make the decision okay and you're like i'm tired of my own shit i'm t shit for some of you i'm tired of this relationship not succeeding i'm tired of this connection not growing like you're not putting in equal opportunity effort it's not a balanced equal energy exchange so therefore you are going to continue to receive resistance until you you get your mind right i hear jeezy baby get your mind right okay like really, because you, you you're the goat fucking up the game and the and the goat can't fuck up the game because if the goat fucks up the game then everything that falls below it is fucked up. Woo I really wasn't trying to yell, but like that that message is very, very it's very strong. Like you, baby, why are you when did you start sleeping on yourself? Who hurt you? Who hurt you? Who 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 fucked up the goat's ego, baby? Who? Was it you? Okay, are you taking accountability for what you did? Like, really, are you? <laughs> and now I see humor. Just laugh. Like, your ancestors are fucking, like, they're laughing at you. Like, baby, they're like, this this little girl, this little boy, you're probably grown as hell, but you're not, you're not acting like a grown woman, grown man right now. Like you're not like you, you are not, you are taking a lot of you. Let me tell you something. We, we are in, in a Gemini year and we are in the age of Aquarius. Okay. Okay. I'm going to keep iterating this message as long as I have a voice, as long as I have a platform. All right. You have to move in ways that are very, very unfamiliar to you and your territory, okay? This isn't the time we are not in the age of Pisces, okay? The age of Pisces, you know, we tapped into the shadow side of Virgo, planning, making sure certain ducks are in a row so that we could achieve and accomplish this and not worry. But in the age of Aquarius, in a Gemini year, in a twin year, where she could go either way, in an air sign year, okay, and we're, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay, air signs. If you have if you have a major aspect like this year, is very very fucking transformative for you, okay. But and then next year we're moving into a seven year, which is the chariot, which is Cancer, which is your opposite. So this year is is shifting you and molding you it's really shape shifting you to do things in a different way than you always done them you're not going to have the plan you're not going to for some of you you may have the plan but that plan is you are going to get to this to point a and once you get to point a you have no idea how anything else is going to work out but god is like why why are you sleeping on me okay why are you sleeping on me when I when I honored you to be the motherfucking goat of the zodiac? And now we're here, right? We're here and you're you're uncomfortable. This is unknown territory. This is this is the unseen, it's the unknown, and now we're here. And I'm trying to guide you and take you in a different way. But you're like, no, because of this obligation, because of this, God is like, fuck all that, because this shit's not gonna matter. It's not gonna matter when it's time for you to go to the next life, when it's time for you to move forward, okay? When it's time to get to next like what you're trying like it's like i feel like spirit is trying to put you ahead like five some shitty years but you're trying to keep yourself okay i have to do this this day and this tomorrow like it's time to be diligent and move forward okay let's get into the five weeks of may that's what i was supposed to be getting into God, please clarify the five weeks of May for Capricorn, please. Week one through five. Thank you. 
King of Wands. Um, week one for Capricorn. Okay. Week two for Capricorn. Week three for Capricorn, please. Ooh. Week four for Capricorn. Can I just get one? Week four for Capricorn, please. If I had one wish, we'd be best friends. Love will never end. It will just begin. If I had one wish, it would be my... You're trying to prevent a tower moment from happening, but if you don't initiate this tower, baby, it's going to be a lot worse when spirit initiates it. What y'all doing for single de Mayo? I don't know why the fuck I wanted to say that. Some of you um, are doing drunk text, drunk calling with that JoJo Marvin's room. The chariot came out, okay? God is trying to put, put you, in May, God is trying to put you where you're trying to put yourself next year, baby, okay? I'm trying to show you the way. I hear God, please show me the way. That's a Kirk Franklin song. It's called Donna. And the song goes, uh, at, the end of, at the end, there's a prayer. And she's saying, God, I'm a, we're going to play it at the end. Donna. Donna by Kirk Franklin. Please clarify week one for Capricorn. Please clarify. Ooh. Some of, some of y'all, <laughs> I hear looking for love in all the wrong places, but you're going back. I hear you. I hear you found your true love and then you went looking for love in all the wrong places and now you're going back to your true love. And I see the King of Swords and the King of Wands reversed. Yeah, you, yeah, a lot of you realize you fucked up on a decision. I don't know. Somebody else had this energy. I think, um, should I think it was Jim? I don't know. Uh, please clarify the world, please. That would be four. Clarify one more time, please. King of Swords came out. And the magician. And I hear Wale ambition. Word play. Queen of Wands. Ha ha! Yo, Capricorn. Don't don't be out here. Oh, oh, you trying to manipulate with word play. Alright, yes, the truth. Release that shit, Ten of Wands, okay? I want to know why. Yeah, I keep seeing it. Why? Yeah, you are trying to block a divine transformation. <sighs> mm -hmm. Okay, so week one, which is the current week of May that we're in, we have the King of Wands with this beautiful line in the background. Okay, clarified by the Knight of Wands. So, fire energy. Something is moving forward this week for you. And this is giving me that we had passion. So I hear passion is being ignited. Passion is being like I see a flame being lit. Um, like someone lighting a candle. So and then he has a torch right here as well. So I hear they don't see me coming. <laughs> what the fuck? So the first week. Of May, you're moving forward towards something that you're passionate about. Whatever you're moving forward to, they do not see it coming, okay? The way this line is in the background, like, okay, I'm watching you. I see you. I'm coming for you with this Knight of Wands very quickly. But you don't see me, okay? I'm hiding in the shadows type of vibes, okay? So, y'all definitely got to let me know what's, what, what's coming, okay, in the comments. And then in week two, we have the Three of Pentacles reversed, clarified by the Ace of Cups. So... You are working towards, again, this is giving me that energy, the energy of you found your love and then you went looking for love in all the wrong places and now you're trying to go back. And so where you, with the three of pentacles reversed, this is work, the work that was put in being put out. Like, like the first week, the flame was, it, it, 
Okay, I'm not supposed to say it in that context. But with the Three of Pentacles reversed, you're... This card is so funny to me because every time I look at it, like he's on this, he's holding up this, um, I hear charade. You've been playing charades with someone um, energetically, metaphorically, mentally, physically. But he's holding up this and Shorty Girl right here is putting in the work to, to create, okay, to manifest, to to build. But he's not focused on the one that's putting in the work. He's focused on this bitch over here, okay? So, again, the one that was putting in the work, you ignored. You turned your back on, but you started paying attention to love in all the wrong places, right? But it's reversed. So, you're coming out of that energy and you're choosing to go toward a cup that is fulfilling to you, okay? Um, something that it, it, I hear it's true emotion and true, true intentions and it's not questionable, all right? Um, for a lot of you... If this isn't like associated with a relationship or anything like that, since this is pinnacles, um, when it comes to a job or a home or um, a new business adventure, it's like going after what is, it's like spirit is giving you a gift. Like uh, God is giving you um, a new opportunity or, or an offering is coming in that's going to help you, that's going to fill your cup and also allow your cup to overflow. And you don't have to work so hard for this. It's like, it, it, it's like someone just giving you a home just because they love you and they know that you need it like with no strings attached type of energy like that something like that like whatever this is in week two it's coming to you easy you don't have to work for it then in week three of may um and this is around the scorpio full moon no week three is the scorpio full moon i'm sorry so week three, we have the Ten of Cups and we have the Hermits, okay? Clair the Ten of Cups is clarified by the Hermit. So a lot of you have been in this energy of being alone, detaching, trying to figure things out, getting into the Virgo energy, trying to plan, trying to, you know, really work on yourself again. And, and this Hermit, she has one black. So you've been sad, you've been depressed. Your mind has been in this low vibrational energy. A lot of you, this has to do with connections in your life, how something is growing, isn't growing. A lot of you separated from something or someone that you wanted to build a family with and you're wanting to come out of that energy. It's like you no longer want to be alone. I hear, um, and I can I be without you by Mary J. Blige. So that's for some of you. For others of you, if you have been alone, if you haven't been getting out of the house in week three, you can expect to get out of the house, connect with friends. A lot of you could be having play dates um, if you have children or nieces or nephews. But you're really spending time in good company in week three, okay? And you're not, you're, you're, for some of you, if you have been, for others of you, if you haven't been in the house, if you haven't been praying into yourself, it's the opposite. You are detaching. It's like um, sending the kids off for the weekend and really taking the weekend by yourself to cater to yourself, getting us going to the spot by yourself, like, the, yeah the opposite you get you get the flow now in week four a cycle is being completed so we have the world in which the world is fixed energy um oh i was about to say fuck something about gemini energy with the king of swords but in week four gemini's communication as well um mercury retrograde cycles are being completed for you during mercury retrograde but we have leo um aquarius taurus and Scorpio with the world, all fixed signs, okay? And so to clarify that, we have the Five of Cups. So wherever, whatever you've been looking at as the glass half, um, has half empty versus half full, wherever you have been ungrateful, whatever you've been focusing on that has had you down and out, whatever has, has been unfulfilling towards you, you're coming out of that energy. Um, and the King of Swords and the Magician, they didn't necessarily come out upright they kind of came out reversed but they didn't kind of like this five of cups so in week four with this um i feel like week four you're really going to feel the, the changes of the um of the scorpio full moon that's happening but definitely pay attention to your dreams a lot of clarity is coming in a lot of manifestations are coming in you we have the 21 the completion and then we have the the one so a brand new beginning like the the full is in here so it's like the risk has already been initiated like the the decision is the risk within itself and then 
um, taking action towards the end of May. And your confidence is definitely being restored at the end of May as well. Um, it's like the more I hear each and every day you are, there's an inner discovery happening. Um, and I also hear take notes. So definitely journal this um, process. I feel like whatever you're experiencing is going to allow you to, we have a lot of major arcana here, the hermit, the magician, um, the high priestess, the tower, but um, you're going to want to share your story in the future. It may not seem like a story you want to share right now, but this, this testimony that's about to happen, like you're going to want to take notes. Okay. And then, um, and then you're also going to want to take notes because I was saying this in my risings with Ray yesterday. Once we pass the test, God will bring the test back just to make sure we remember. Okay. So if you happen to go through something that, that's another major transformation, reflect on this notes and how you got through it and what you did so that you can go back to that if you need it in the future. And it's, it's like a resource and a reference to you. And then in week five, the final week of May, moving into June, we have the Queen of Wands reverse and the Three of Wands. And Mercury retrograde ends June 2nd. So a lot of you could be moving the that last week of May, um, like very beginning of June, like you could be signing you could be signing the lease on June 2nd, June 3rd. Like as soon as we get into post retrograde shadow, um, we're, we're taking a trip, we're taking a journey, we're moving. Um, but I want to clarify this, why the queen of wands is reversed because now this is giving me a disconnect in the divine feminine. So we start with the king and we end with the queen reverse. And this is giving me an imbalance of masculine and feminine energies. Like you pour into the masculine, but then you start to neglect the feminine, and then you pour into the feminine, then you start to neglect the the ooh, you start to neglect the balance. Okay, and we have the balance card. Please, yeah, okay. I, I feel like I don't need to clarify because I just like spirit just literally spoke through me. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Ooh, victory. Six of Wands and the Nine of Cups. So. surrender to your wish fulfillment go after your wish fulfillment and stop overthinking it okay your shadow is very very heavy your shadow is testing you the entire month of may so be mindful of that capricorn and then we're going to get into so we also have the i kept seeing the tower reverse and i put it out to clarify and the tower reverse is clarified by the high priestess that brow chakra so a lot of you have been ignoring your intuition. It's like feeling the intuitive nudge to go one way, but you're like, no, spirit, we're gonna go this way. It's like you're telling you're telling spirit what's what's gonna be done. No, 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 no. It don't work like that. Everything will come to a motherfucking halt in your life. Okay. And then justice wanted to come out reverse. Yeah, you need to yeah. hear your inner psyche is a little fucked up. And you need to talk to someone and just be completely honest. You also need to be honest about your intentions. Final messages for uh, Capricorn. For May Spirit. I can't wait to get into the tea leaf oracle for you. Nothing is yet set in stone. Okay, so if you... that Nothing is yet set in stone, which means you're not committed to anything yet. So if you're if you're wanting to change directions, change course, do that. And then we have new moon and Gemini. Communication is key, baby. I cannot make this shit up. And cancer energy came out. You and your loved ones are safe. So with whatever changes you are making, uh, verbalize it, speak up. If you're worried about it, you know, talk to God about that worry. And after you talk to God about that worry, release that shit and move forward, okay? Once you talk to God about it, it it's done, okay? It's not stop question a lot of you are questioning god but a win-win outcome is forecast if you trust god if you trust the divine or buddha or whoever you believe in like your higher powers is is trying to come through for you but you keep your actions are contradicting your, your so-called beliefs so what is it be clear i feel like i'm like low-key getting smart with y'all and i'm not but it's like your spirit team is like you're not they not they don't want to fucking listen to me so i'm gonna talk through you all right, so final messages for Capricorn. 
Can I get one at a time, please? Final messages for Capricorn in May. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Spirit, can I please just get one at a time for Capricorn, please? <laughs> they like when Capricorn get their energy balance. Yeah. Uh, okay. There we go. I had to relax and then now was one coming out. Relax, baby. Laugh a little. Have fun. The moon changes in your life, baby. Major changes are happening, Cap, in May. We have victory in some endeavor. Okay, major changes, victory. I hear JoJo again. Marvin's room. Secret admirer, yeah. <laughs> um... Capricorn final messages. Uh -oh, uh -oh. We have will and decisiveness allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. So this is just, <laughs> you need to give a fuck Capricorn. You need to give a fuck and you, you need to get it, give a fuck and get it together. Anything else for Capricorn for me? Okay, September. Somebody else has September. I promise you, if you have, you should, you should just watch the Gemini reading because we're in a Gemini year. But something from September, I hear, needs to be revisited. Some something that was that was a change in your life or initiation. So reflect back to new beginnings that happened in September. But we also have feather here, and I said some of you may be finding feathers, but we have someone you know is undependable and insincere. Okay, so someone in your life that you think is dependable and sincere actually is going to show you that they are not. Okay, and we have August. You may have had an encounter with this person last August as well. Reflect back on that. Someone made you a promise last August and they are not following through. Yeah, misunderstanding. Because of, uh, I hear lack of cl clear communication and lack of follow-up conversation from whatever this is from august that's coming back up this is retrograde shit and we have horseshoe good luck is on your side i hear once you actually rely on god and trust god and stop trying to figure everything out yourself like you are god Ooh, and then we have barrel you feel something is lacking in your life perhaps love money or goals all right and then finally we have needle and thread a sincere wish will be granted for you in the month of May, Capricorn, okay? So God bless you. Thank you for tapping in. Hold on. Actually, before we go, I want to look at love for you really quickly. We have forest came out, muddled, unclear thinking. You really need to get your mind right. Get your mind right ASAP, ASAP. Um, please clarify love for Capricorn in May. Three of Pentacles, I hear Wondering Eye. And then we have Victory. So with love, again, going back to that situation, um, you, you're going back to that, that first love. Yes, yeah, somebody that you wanted to baby make with, whatever. Or somebody wants to do this with you. But expect love, expect growth and a new beginning. And a reconciliation we have 336 which is also creation energy 369 some of you could be creating a baby um yeah I <clears throat> balance baby balance i love you i'm gonna leave it there capricorn i love you like comment subscribe share thank you for supporting me god bless you bye baby